I don't think I was relevant back in the day in the way that I wanted to be. So I just want all the women of today to know that it's never too late. Yeah. You know, so if you think that you want to do something and you want to be relevant, just stay true to yourself and believe in what you're doing and be consistent and you will be relevant. I was kind of typecast for the first 7-8 years of my career. So saying that it's not like I wasn't acting. Yeah. Me being where I am, I have to give credit even to Raj. Uh he truly has been my rock of Gibraltar. I have done so much more after being married. Yeah. And when I showed him the trailer, it was the first time Hesha that he literally stood up and he was like that's my mom. In today's episode of Women of Today, I'm in conversation with somebody who dons many hats. She's the OG trendsetter when it comes to fashion, fitness, her choice of films and of course the feet tapping dance numbers. Hi, this is me Hesha and joining me today here on India Today is somebody who I personally love and adore, Shilpa Shetty. Thank you Hesha. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too. You know, Shilpa, I'm going to start off this conversation by asking you about the story which you posted last night on your Instagram. Did I post? Yes, you did, which is about seeking and finding opportunities for yourself. 30 years into this industry now, mm-hmm. how does Shilpa Shetty still seek and be this go-getter that she is and seek her opportunities in life? I think um, when you are seeking, the opportunity finds you. Mm-hmm. And you have to be a seeker in life. um i for one sometimes i feel i'm a little too complacent uh but i do believe in you know seizing the moment seizing the day and living in the moment so when i see an opportunity and if i want to find an opportunity to kind of reinvent myself or rather go to a, maybe a level higher uh in terms of being a better version of myself then i you know i'm a go getter otherwise i'm pretty like uh sorted and simple but yes you have to keep looking for how you can better yourself and for mm. that you always always need a window of opportunity mm. you know speaking about specifically indian police force you know correct me if i'm wrong your son vian was the one who's a huge rohit shetty fan and pushed you to actually go ahead and do this mm-hmm. and i feel like with everything coming together it's like by the shetty for the shetty of the shetty <laughs> because there's tara shetty then there is rohit shetty and then there is the shilpa shetty yeah. um you have to talk to me about working on this project from a point of view when you know that Rohit is so particular as far as work is concerned right he has an eye for detail how did you sort of manage to nail you know the whole thing between striking and staying true to the script and then bringing in your own interpretation as Shilpa to Tara Shetty um there's always a bit of you that you bring in uh when you're playing a character maybe subconsciously you don't want to consciously do that um uh, somewhere with Tara Shetty's character it was all laid out for me uh very beautifully it's very well etched it's a very meaty part and a great opportunity uh that was given to me to be the first female cop in his cop uh, cop verse so i kind of uh, you know just jumped into it i also did it because i felt this is the first time that my son felt proud of me as an actor and um while he hasn't seen too much of my work the first time that when i when i approached tara i wanted also you know it becomes easy because rohit also gives you the impetus mm-hmm. to work that much harder because um he he deals with every character in his cop verse in a certain way mm. uh with a lot of passion so it just makes you put in that extra effort because you have so much to work with yeah. uh so but, but when i approached the character somewhere deep down within i i knew that my son was going to watch this um not just because he's a royal chetty fan also because now we're you know coming together yeah. it was there for him and when i showed him the trailer it was the first time hesha that he literally stood up and he was like that's my mom Wow. You know, so it just made me so proud so that extra bit of onus on my head. <laughs> so I put in that added effort 
and um, yeah i gave it my all mm. yeah. you know when you're even playing the character of a cop just the whole idea of it and being present and you know fighting just brings in so much of sense of responsibility right because these guys are doing so much for us out there in the nation how did you feel at that particular moment where you were like did you sort of emote that emotion because you're somebody who's very emotionally intelligent as well right hmm um uh, i think roles are very cathartic um and in this part i didn't need to use my emotional intelligence mm-hmm. because it's a really gritty a very brave um someone who doesn't put her emotions before um she doesn't work with her heart mm-hmm. she works passionately from her heart uh but uses her mind mm-hmm. and she's she's a very different character from what i've played before someone who smiles very little she's like really terse that's not you she's yeah you know, exactly so it's very very different from who i am mm. as a person um so yeah it was it was a very i think it's a different technique mm. with every film and with every maker you kind of um uh you use a different technique so with sukhi i was a different uh, actor different kind of actor because you're you're dealing with a different um audience mm. your tg is different yeah. with a rohit shetty film you know your 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 target audience is again very different and yeah. you have to be like uh, you have to also play the part yeah and uh, i think there's i think the only thing that's similar between tara shetty and shilpa shetty is the fact that we're both very brave mm. <laughs> yeah and the yeah. shetty of course yeah and that the shetty, shetty aspect yes. aspect as well <laughs> um shilpa at what point in your like three decade long career you actually felt that the industry opened up more to the actor in you rather than the vanity that you any which ways bring to the table uh that's an interesting question for me i think i was kind of typecast for the first 7 8 years of my career so saying that it's not like i wasn't acting yeah 90s was a different time but i think um uh, people gave me or rather viewed me differently after seeing me in a film like dharkan yeah uh where i think i was credited with some acting chops also because somebody like a dharmesh darshan took me out of the glamorous mold mm. not that anjali's character was less glamorous yeah. but she was padded with a bit of indianness um she was very classy but catered to the masses so i think all that comes together uh, came together for me as an actor um and i think it was from dharkan that people saw a different graph and then obviously i had different films that had you know that mm. were different milestones yeah. in my life uh, a fir milenge a life in a metro yeah. das rishte a gamut of characters that i played mm. so i think definitely uh, dharkan was the first as an actor according to you what makes a performance incredible or forgettable for you personally honesty mm. yeah if you're not honest um in this line of work it shows and today the audiences have smartened up yeah. you know back in the day they were far more forgiving mm. i think audience uh, honesty is definitely the bedrock of how you play a character You know Sharpa you've often time and again spoken about the fact the importance of how close knitted you are with your family. Um uh, it's of course your sister and then there's your there's your mother and now even Vian supporting you what you're exactly doing. Tell me how does that certainly impact in building Shilpa Shetty the person that she is today? Uh I can never forget the contribution that my entire family has uh put in into <clears throat> into me being where i am i have to give credit even to raj uh he truly has been my rock of gibraltar i have done so much more after being married yeah and i've been able to do that because he's supported me he's very proud of me my 3 and a half year old daughter also loves what i do she knows now she's like mama you're famous oh because you know there are times i want to take her to a play area and you know it's just it's not simple hmm. um saying that i'm not complaining or i'm not being um someone 
who doesn't have gratitude yeah. we've worked so hard for for this recognition and i'd be worried if people didn't come up to me hmm. you know that's yeah. the dichotomy <laughs> uh of how we think as actors yeah but uh without their support my mom traveled with me for most of her life um to the extent that my parents literally didn't have a life of their own mm. my sister who was so young uh barely had my mom around her my children see me work really hard but today i i think i'm in a position where i can choose pick and choose when and how much i want to work yeah so that's why uh concentrating more on quality oriented work but yes i i have so much gratitude in my heart for being blessed with children who understand mm. and uh, who are so proud of what i do yeah and i try it it is uh, it's a hard task but i i love being the professional i am mm. and i love playing the best role of my life that is being a homemaker mm. um and it's it's not easy to do yeah. but it's not impossible to do either You make it look very easy, but we know there's a lot easy. of art. You make this looking very easy. You make the action on screen look very easy, and of course, motherhood look very easy as well. Um, Vishalpa, I have to credit you on the fact that the way you're so put together in your thoughts and how you articulate yourself well every single time somebody's talking to you. Kudos to you, and lots of power for that. I want to ask you, being somebody who's so grateful and so spiritual. Have you ever believed that you know luck plays a major factor in terms of what roles and scripts are often offered to actors as well? Um I don't know about luck but definitely karma does. Hmm. You know when you do good it comes back to you. It finds a way to kind of repay you. And I really feel I really believe and feel that um somewhere I I feel like I've lasted so long because of people's good wishes, their blessings. Um I'm not really religious religious, mm. but I'm very deeply uh connected to the universe. I'm very sp- spiritual. So I do believe in um in those aspects. Luck maybe astro- astrologically a planetary position may work in your favor. but there are so many ups and downs you mm. know while i'm also inclined towards uh believing in those things because it's it's a science yeah. in its you know in its way but i'm someone who really believes that nothing succeeds like hard work mm. not success mm. success will eventually find its way to you but if you are hard working there will be some kind of poetic justice that will be meted out to you mm. speaking of hard work you've broken yourself you have yeah. done crazy stunts it was epic and of course it's ott which has seven episodes right in a scenario or a setup like that you know when you've done primarily like films for a larger scale and then there is a grand hero of rohit shetty did you feel any kind of difference or were you like treated exactly like how you would be treated on a film set i don't think rohit approached it like like a series hmm. it is an original series but it it's like uh um, three films together wow so you know i literally um got offered a film with him 14 years ago i think Gold we man. made up we made up for that <laughs> in this web Later. series so we did three <laughs> in one shot um i i just enjoyed the experience it's one of my first um fiction uh, original series yeah. for amazon prime and i I think it was a great platform it is a great great platform because sometimes what happens is that um, films you cater to a certain audience mm. but when you're in such a huge platform you're catering to literally billions of people more yeah. so it's it's just made the world so much smaller mm. so I know and I I I I believe that um that they couldn't have been a better start and what bigger way than to start you know uh, an action series yeah. uh, than with rohit shetty playing uh, the first female in his cop verse yeah, yeah absolutely and that yeah. goes without saying and we're so excited i feel to get this you've already broken a stereotype as i said you're the og trend setter you've come broken in a, broken many. the stereotype and broken my knee also. knee also in that process <laughs> of it Um Shilpa before I wrap this up my last question to you definitely has to be on the lines of 
you're not somebody who's ever restricted herself to any streaming platform let's talk like back in the day you know right now actors are opening up to the entire perception that sab karna chahiye aapne to pehle hi kar diya tha sab kuch how when why how are you so forward thinking i just go with my instinct you know hecha i don't um i'm not a trend follower hmm. i like to set my own trend and you know after working for so long the choice of taking a sabbatical after my child for nearly 7 years and not wanting to do movies but still you know dabbling with television was a conscious decision for uh, me to concentrate more on um getting into the milieu of health mm. and fitness and want to encourage people to take their health serious seriously happened over 14 years ago now people are talking about it uh dabbling uh with radio youtube yeah you know most people take the route of youtube after i mean to become famous yeah. here i was already famous and i took the, you know took that route to kind of make people realize that healthy cooking is you know is just um people feel like eating healthy is like it's like a punishment yeah. and healthy food doesn't taste good so how important nutrition is and how it can be made tasty and to kind of bring that awareness back to yeah. it <clears throat> then starting my own app um the simple soulful yeah. app being the first celebrity driven health and fitness app yeah wellness app actually so i kind of did things uh because i wanted to mm. not because i wanted to prove a point to someone else mm. because it worked in my scheme of things mm. so i do things uh only if it works for me and somewhere i feel like maybe that's the need of the hour mm. you know so you cannot under undermine or underestimate any of these mediums yeah while i am who i am because of the big screen and people always know me as an actor or star whatever uh is the name they want to give me but i think i will be appreciated for shilpa shetty the human being yeah. because i think most people kind of uh see see that real me on television yeah and uh, i think i'm very blessed in that way that people like me for me yeah. and not just the parts i play that's true um shilpa thank you so much for your time you truly are the women of today you've been relevant for three decades and that definitely takes a lot and in police force is something that is a game changer for you i'm sure the trailer says it all and we're looking forward to that as well all the best more power to you and i hope i get to see you super soon again thank you and because the show is called women of today i just want to <clears throat> while i am relevant today and i take that as a huge compliment i don't think i was relevant back in the day in the way that i wanted to be So I just want all the women of today to know that it's never too late. Yeah. You know, so if you think that you want to do something and you want to be relevant, just stay true to yourself and believe in what you're doing and be consistent and you will be relevant. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you.